We've been building applications with Next.js since early versions of Pages Router, App Router, and then more recently on Next.js 15 with React server components. Having built a medium-sized application initially on Canary releases through to release candidates and then the final release of Next.js 15, the biggest challenges we've had have been in third-party and ecosystem support in areas like authentication and internationalization. And this is almost certainly due to the effort it will take for the broader ecosystem to become React server and client component compatible. But that meant for us developing our own solutions uh, in authentication, internationalization, as well as a solution for chaining Next.js middleware. What makes middleware special is that it runs before your application, before app router, before server pages, before route handlers and actions. In the case of Vercel, it runs in a completely separate process from your main application, and that process is Vercel's own edge runtime. It's not Node.js, um, and it only supports a subset of well-known JavaScript modules and functions. What's made working with middleware a little frustrating is the fact that in most examples, including those from well-known packages like NextAuth, they assume that their middleware function is the only middleware in your application. And so it's really up to you to decide how best to combine or chain middleware functions. The not so nice way to do that would be to write one large function in middleware TS, but that's not very modular or reusable. So I've written a blog post that shows you our strategy for middleware and importantly includes references to several other examples or attempts at solving this problem um, that helped us along our way and pointed us in the right direction. In the VS Code window right now, my current editor, you can see um, our chain middleware utility function. And this is used to combine our middleware helpers or plugins. And as an example, you can see our with nonce middleware helper, uh, which attaches a nonce to the request headers, and then subsequently can be read by our content security policy helper, which will read those headers retrieve the nonce value, and then use that to build a complete content security policy. We can combine all of our helpers inside middleware.ts by importing them and then calling our uh, chain middleware helper function with all of our helpers or plugins passed in as an array of parameters. There's a link to the blog post in the description below the video. Uh, included in which is the source code for all of our helpers, uh, including our chain middleware utility function. <laughs> um, and that's it. I hope some of this helped, and bye for now.